Hello. One of the ways that they target you, if you're a tax individual and you're on this mind-controlled experiment program, whatever it is, um, behaviour modification, lots of words for it, and you will know if you're on the program. There's way too many um, check boxes that all add up and they're all exactly the same. Um, one of the things that you will have noticed is dreams that are not normal and that you, there's an awareness where you're having the dream towards the end of the dream that this is not normal. And what they do is I've noticed within these dreams, it's a kind of hypnosis where in the beginning of the dream, you are sort of talked into it so that it starts off like a normal dream and that's where you're kidded. And um, then you just find yourself having this bizarre dream that is not normal. It's not just a nightmare. It's very, very odd. And a lot of the dreams that I've had, especially in, in the beginning when this first began, was interrogative dreams. I was being interrogated and I realised within the dream that I was being interrogated and then I suddenly became quiet and I wouldn't say anything and I woke up shortly after that and then I would go back to sleep and I noticed that and every time these interrogative dreams began that was asking me for information, what would happen? And the information was just ridiculous. I'll let you know about some of the dreams in a moment. How, but how the dreams began was coaxing you into it you was it started off as a normal dream it started off as a dream of the day's events or a dream where you was just in a supermarket or just something normal and you was being spoken to and you got involved in some normal aspect of a normal ordinary dream and then it led to this interrogation which <laughs> was <laughs> about the most inane things i have the, the i in the early days the dreams were such as when I'd been to the supermarket and I, I'd noticed I was being followed around the supermarket and what I was buying was being observed uh, overtly, I might add, which is, is something that might happen to you if you're targeted. Um, for some reason, they want to know all the food you're eating and what you're buying. I don't know why. And um, especially in health food shops, they seem to be really interested they won't leave you alone and i've tested this i've gone around the other side and i picked things up put them back and and you, you know it it's can't be coincidence so these are interrogative dreams it's quite funny one was i was in the supermarket and this really happened and um i, I didn't know which the, this this yo other yogurt i've not tried before <laughs> was on offer and i was mm, should I get that one i should get the one that I, mm, you know it was just a normal thing like that and in this dream that i had a few days after that i'd completely forgotten about that um i was being interrogated and i was why did you choose that yogurt over the other one what what made you buy that what was really intensely about this and it was only like I'd fallen into the dream and I was going along with it, the questioning, and it was only like, hang on a minute. And when the questions got so in, so particular, you know, that I, I sort of like realised, hang on, this isn't a normal dream. And I've had I've had that many times where I've been interrogated, and I mean interrogated, um, about the most inane things that I've done during my day. Um, why did I do this? Why did I buy this ticket and not that ticket? Um, and the, these dreams are just odd. They're not normal dreams. They're like, whoa, hang on a minute. Like somebody's controlling my mind during this, making me have these dreams. And um, obviously there's been horror dreams. I've had those and they're not just normal nightmares. They're horror dreams. And one of the dreams I had was <clears throat> um, before I went to sleep, I'd been um, saying my prayers, and um, what happened is in this and this this I know has happened to other targets. Um, I was had this. It, I, it's not. It was not a dream because it was so real. There was these demons, and I don't believe in. Yeah. You know, anyway, these demons, and they was. Like my head, I have, if you're a tagged individual, you'll be, not all, but I am emitting radio frequencies that are measurable from my head area and they're so strong I can feel them, you know? I think it's it's the amplitude of them that 
the power of them that it, I can feel. I can feel that energy dancing around my scalp. It's very, very strong. And it's not an illusion because it's it's measurable. I can measure it with a radio frequency detector. And um, these demons was messing with that. I'd managed to, um, you know, sort of found a way to make it less using magnets, the sensation to reduce it. And what happened is, and um, <laughs> there's these demons who are horrible, like little purple things. And they was like scrambling with their hands, this electro what's it frequency around my head. And they was messing with it and um, putting it back, I think. <laughs> I was in this dream and I was like pushing them off. And then I became paralyzed and they was just like messing around with my head. And it was horrible. It was like a nightmare, really. But it, even though it was going on, I, I, was, I wasn't afraid. And I, I was shouting, just get off me, get the F you what off me. Yeah. And um, then I, I shouted for Jesus. Yeah. And um, then they, they got off me. And what is very interesting, <laughs> if this is going somewhere, what is very interesting is I sat up and looked around my room and there was a white orb, a white ball on the top honestly, on the top of my wardrobe and it was like a milky color it wasn't a lovely glowing white ball that looked lovely it was like a milky color and when you look at a, you've seen tadpoles haven't you when you look at tadpole spawn one of those it without a black dot in the middle it was like one of those like sort of a gel but it was actually light but it was a murky a greenish white and this ball was there like an orb a very large one i'd say about two foot maybe a foot and a half actually in circumference and it was on the top of the wardrobe <laughs> and i had my eyes open yeah i just awoke from this whatever it was and it felt very very real and it moved straight ahead towards the other side of the wall and just disappeared went through the wall and it, it moved it didn't move it moved like if you're driving a car very very slowly really really slowly you're driving it off so slow but it's smooth isn't it that's how it moved and then what happened is i live in flats what happened is well they're not really flats so it's like three floors then what I heard was the door downstairs does not bang. It has a spring on it, so it closes gently. What I heard was banging of the doors. This is five o'clock in the morning. Six times. Smash, smash, smash. Horrific banging. And... It was very, very aggressive, like someone was really annoyed and they were just banging these doors. Now, the only door that that could have been is the metal bit, the metal door, which accesses where the rubbish, where you put your rubbish. And that's on the outside of the building. It could have only been that. Um, but I did hear the door downstairs. I did hear that slam shut also. So somebody, well, I was having that dream, had been in the building and they'd left just at that point when I woke up and I saw the orb move. Within a very short time, I heard this banging downstairs. So somebody had been in, in the place, not my flat, but in on the landing or whatever, or in the building. And the banging outside was, I mean, I, I saw that orb. You know, I probably can't convince you that it's real. Um. But the banging downstairs, that was definitely, you know, I was wide awake and I saw, I saw the orb, but obviously that's been done to me through some electronic means. I've been made to have this dream. I've been made to see that orb. And somebody had been in the building and that banging downstairs was, that was real people doing that. And you don't get that where I live. You do not get like that at five o'clock in the morning. A lot of stuff seems to happen around five o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> I don't know why that is. And, um, it, you know, so basically my 
view on that is that a human being, a flesh and blood human being, came into the building and used some electronic te technology or microwaves, radio, whatever, to influence my dream state caused me to have this dream of these purple demons <laughs> messing with my head which was it was horrible you know I wasn't afraid was, get off you know and um <laughs> then after that I obviously woke up you know I got these bloody things off me <laughs> and I woke up and this orb that obviously caused that hallucination or maybe it was a real maybe it was a hologram and the real people had done the banging. There was somebody in these flats to cause that, using uh, some kind of apparatus to cause it. Um, demons do not need to bang doors six times on the way out. They don't need to close the door. If that orb can go through the wall, I'm sure the demons or whatever it was that has done whatever it's done to me can do that. They don't need to bang doors. Human beings need to bang doors. Human beings need to close doors when they're leaving. Right. So that may be interesting for you if you've been suffering or you've been entertained as I have <laughs> by these dreams that are not real. Um... And the, one of the dreams was extremely hard. And um, that was where I was asleep, obviously. And um, the person that I know to be one of the people um, instigating a lot of this um, was looking over. Like they was looking, I can't explain it. Like my brains was being sucked out, like with a syringe. And I believe that was some kind of energy or thought in the dream. And this person was like looking over, like watching me. And um, it wasn't very pleasant. It wasn't a normal dream, you know, it wasn't a nightmare. I've just not had any dreams like that. Um, yeah, so if um, if you bit take, take notice that these things are not demons, these things are not spirits, they want you to believe in all that, but it's not that. It's a human being with some kind of means of um, inflicting these things on you. Okay, thank you. God bless. Bye.